Version date ya mishtemi and welcome in this new video of the Albanian language. In this video, I will continue with some other Albanian idioms. And that is the part two. But remember that I'm going to do other videos about it because the Albanian language has really too many idioms. And they are really very, very interesting. And they are also used a lot in the daily life. So let's start with the first one. Okay, so the first one, it's about food. When something is uh, delicious, in Albanian language, we can say also this idiom. Ësht për të lëpir gishtat. Ësht për të lëpir gishtat. Literally, it means it's to lick the fingers. But, I mean, the real meaning is that it's delicious. So, it's really so, 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 so yummy. It's used for the food. And, of course, it's used in the positive context. Now, this next expression or idiom, it is used in a negative context. And it is in Albanian, Lepin atu ku pushtun. Lepin atu ku pushtun. Literally, it means lick where you spit. Because uh, pushtu means to spit. So, it's obviously something negative. And the real meaning is that when you are admitting that you have lied. So when you say to someone, you literally say that to someone. Lepin atuku pushtun. That means that just yesterday you were saying a bad thing about that person or about that thing. And now you are saying something different. So now you are saying something positive thing. So this is used, of course, in a negative context. Now, we have these other two idioms that actually have the same meaning. So you can say, Ma hungry na bes, ma hungry na bes, or you can say, Ma preu na bes, ma preu na bes. As you know, there, it's very difficult to have a little meaning for this because you know I believe besa. Besa is uh, something very particular for Albanian and it has to do with the trust. So when someone, like especially a man, he will give his besa, that means that he will give his word. So it's something really that he cannot uh, not keep that word. So if you say to someone, you ma preve na bes, or you ma hungre na bes, that means that you really did not keep your word. So it's something really, really very bad. And it's used in a negative context. Now, this other idiom also is used a lot in the daily life. And it means e bën punën shkel e shka. E bën punën shkel e shka. It means you are doing your job very, very, very badly. You can say to someone, po e bën punën shkel e shka. You are doing this job badly. It's, of course, used in a negative context. Now, this other expression or idiom is used in positive or in a negative context. So, in Albanian is ibie kalemit. If you say it for you, ibie kalemit. Kalemi is um, an old word of the pencil. We have lapsi, that is a modern word, and kalemi, it's an old word most probably Turkish, but I'm not sure about it. So if you say Ibiye Kalemit, you say to someone that uh, he has made all his calculations. That means he is a person that uh, he has achieved a lot of things or he is a person that is, um, let's say, making his calculation. So maybe taking advantage of other people not to have everything maybe getting married for uh, for money or things like that. So, ibie kalemit, you can say that to that person. Hmm. That person or ai ira kalemit or ayo ira kalemit. That means she made her calculation very well. So, you can say that in a positive context or in a negative context. Also, this other idiom can be used in both positive or negative contexts. So you can say, ja bleu mendian, ja bleu mendian, for someone. Uh, literally, it means that he or she bought his or her mind. 
So the meaning is that he or she convinced him or her. So if you want to say to someone, you will say it, Ya bleve mandian, like you, Ya bleve mandian. That means you convinced him or you convinced her. So it can be used in a positive or in a negative context. This other idiom is used in a negative context. In Albanian is ubetum, ubetum. It's about him or her. Ai ayo ubetum. That means, uh, literally, it means that they became, or he or she became smoke. Because tumi is the smoke. But uh, it means, actually, the meaning is that he or she got too sad or disappointed. Mm? If you want to say it for yourself, you have to say uberatum, uberatum, like I got really disappointed. Of course, it's used in a negative context. This other idiom, it's also very interesting. And uh, you can say it now all the time. Upakyo puntani. Upakyo puntani. And uh, literally, it means I saw this work now. <laughs> but the real meaning is that this thing failed, like it's over now, like I cannot do anything uh, about it because now it's over. Of course, it's used in a negative context. This other also expression is really very nice. It's used in a positive context. Mothan sut. Mothan sut. Literally, it means that my eyes are dry. But the actual meaning is that I miss that person, not him or her. So if you are, for example, just opening Skype and you are uh, talking with uh, someone that you didn't see for a long time, you can tell to that person, Mithavesut, like you literally you know, made my eyes dry. That means really I missed, no, I missed you, things like that. So it is used in a positive context. The last idiom for this video is also very interesting and used a lot. And uh, it is in Albanian, medirsan e balit. Medirsan e balit. It is really used a lot. Literally, it is with the sweat of my forehead. With the sweat of my forehead. And it means that I did it all by myself. Like, really, it was a very, very hard work. So I did it by myself. And it is used in a positive context. Okay, so these were the idioms for today. I'm going to do other videos, of course, on this topic. So let's repeat what we uh, learned today. So the first one was It's delicious. The other one was you are admitting that you have lied, no? This other two, ma hungry na bes, ma hungry na bes, ma preu na bes, ma preu na bes. That person did not keep his word. The other one was e bun punan shkel eshko, e bun punan shkel eshko. You are doing your work or your job very badly. The other expression or idiom was ibie kalemet, ibie kalemet. I have made good or he has made good calculations. The other idiom was yableu mendian, yableu mendian. He or she convinced him or her. The other idiom was ubetum, ubetum. He or she got too disappointed. The other idiom was upakyo puntane. Upakyo puntane. This thing failed. It's over now. The other idiom was muthan sut. Muthan sut. I miss him or her. The last one was medirsan e balit. Medirsan e balit. I did all the work only by myself. So these were the idioms for this lesson. I hope that you liked it. 
and please let me know which one was your favorite one and uh, let me know if you are using it with someone that is Albanian. So thank you very much for following my videos and please subscribe on my channel so you will have always the latest videos that I am posting every, uh, every week almost. So subscribe on my channel Viola GJ. You can like my Facebook page, Let's Learn Albanian. You can join my Facebook group, Learn Albanian with Viola. You can follow me in Instagram, Learn Albanian with Viola. You can follow me in Twitter, Alp with Viola. And if you want private lesson with me, please send me an email to julbegai at gmail.com and let me know. Thank you very much. Falimenderi shungan Viola. See you next time.